Welcome back to our CytusLink Pro user guide series. This is our step-by-step -step guide to setup, patching, setting levels, recording queues, and much more. CytusLink Pro beta version 1.3 is now available to download from the App Store. Version 1.3 brings us new UI enhancements like the on-off button and undo-redo and advanced DMX parameters. Welcome to What's New in CytusLink Pro version 1.3. First, let's dive into the exciting updates, the UI enhancements. These tools are designed to help you work faster and more efficiently. Now, below every fixtures slider, you'll notice an on-off switch. This switch lets you quickly take a light's intensity down to zero and bring it right back up to the exact level it was before. No more trying to slide your finger back to that exact place when the boss calls out, on off that light for me. For DMX fixtures, when you're recording cues, any light on the stage that's in the off position will automatically be recorded at 0% intensity. For fixtures controlled over Citus Bluetooth, turning the light off places it in the standby power mode, just like in the original Citus Link app. Next up, let's talk about one of the most requested features, undo and redo. With this feature, you can easily go back or forward through your recent actions involving fixtures on the stage. This includes adjusting intensity, changing colors, adding or removing fixtures on the stage, renaming them, and pressing clear on the stage. That is a big one. Didn't mean to press clear? Simply tap undo. Undo Redo records up to 100 steps of actions on the stage. Just keep in mind, this feature does not apply to queue functions like recording, editing, or playing back a queue. One question I often get asked is, which DMX profile should I use? While there are many factors to consider, the choice typically comes down to whether you want white light and color control in the same profile. The recommended option is HSIC+, as it allows you to desaturate towards a specific white point for the best performance. But if HSIC Plus isn't available, you can use CCT and RGB or CCT and HSI. These profiles give you control over color temperature and plus and minus green adjustments, along with the ability to crossfade towards a specific color. If your setup allows, meaning you have free channels in your DMX universe, choose 16-bit profiles for smoother performance and better resolution. 8-bit profiles also work well, but they offer less precision. For a deeper dive into this topic, check out episode seven of the Citus Link Pro user guide series, What is Lighting Control and DMX? We now have a new way to control these CCT and RGB and CCT and HSI profiles with a new color control group called CCT and HSI. This mode combines the settings for color temperature, plus and minus green, hue and saturation into one unified view. In this mode, you'll find a new slider for the crossfade parameter. The crossfade slider lets you adjust the blend between your selected white point and the colors defined by hue and saturation. Now, with this update, hue and saturation also have their own sliders under both the HSI and the CCT and HSI control groups. This makes adjusting your light's color even faster and more intuitive. So you can now bump the hue and saturation with the plus and minus buttons. If your light doesn't support HSIC+, the CCT and RGB or the CCT and HSI profiles are the next best options using the CCT and HSI control group in Citus Link Pro. With the new CCT and HSI color control group, we've expanded the functionality of the color swatches. Color swatches are the simple palette shortcuts you'll find right next to the color wheel in HSI, HSIC Plus, and now CCT and HSI modes. We've increased the total number of swatches to 10, and now they save more than just hue and saturation. Each swatch also now saves color temperature, plus and minus green, and the crossfade value. This gives you more flexibility when working with your preferred colors. To make things even easier, the saved CCT value is now imprinted directly on the swatch, helping you quickly identify the settings at a glance. To save a swatch, simply press and hold on the color preview window and drag it onto the swatch you want to use. Keep in mind, color swatches aren't saved permanently. They're designed for quick access. If you want to save your swatch into memory, you'll need to create it as a color preset. 
just press the preset button on the right toolbar and then press the green save to presets button on the bottom right to save for future use. With this update, you can now copy both built-in DMX profiles and user-created DMX profiles. This feature is perfect if you want to create a new profile, but don't want to start completely from scratch. For example, let's say you're working with a panel light that has a similar DMX footprint to the Nova, but a different CCT range. You can copy an existing Nova profile, then adjust the parameters you need to. Here's how it works. First, press the management button on the right toolbar then open the Profile Management tab. From this window, browse to the profile you want to copy. Let's say Aperture Nova P600C Profile 1 for CCT RGB. Tap the profile to the right and choose Copy to Custom. This will open the Edit DMX Profile window. Be sure to update the light information, including manufacturer, series, model, and profile name. Next, adjust the DMX parameters as needed. For example, I'll create a dummy profile for a manufacturer called Test with a model of 007 and profile CCT RGB, 8-bit. I'll modify the CCT range to be 3200 to 5600. To do this, I'll click on the CCT parameter, select Ranged Value, and update the CCT Min to 3200 and the CCT Max to 5600. After successfully saving the new profile, when adding new light fixtures under Custom, your new DMX profiles will be available. Next, we have also added a few basic DMX profiles. On the Manufacturer list, these are located under Generic. Here we have a basic 8-bit and 16-bit dimmer profile, as well as basic RGB profiles. One usage for the dimmer profile is for simple dimmer racks, or maybe for a hazer. If you have a light fixture where you don't know the DMX layout of the light, you could patch in 10 dimmer channels and play with them to see what channel controls what parameter so that you can make your own DMX profile. In addition, Cytoslink Pro now supports RGB only DMX profiles that don't have an intensity parameter. Next up, we have exciting new features for the stage and queues. First, let's talk about merging data from the stage into a queue. Previously, you had to press record and select merge from the record method menu. Now we've made the process even easier. If you wanna add a light to an existing queue or update its values, simply press and hold the slider and drag it onto an existing queue stack. The light will be removed from the stage and merged into that queue. Make sure that queue is running if you don't want the light to turn off. Need to update multiple lights at once? Use multi-select fixtures, tap on all the fixtures you want to merge into the queue, then press and hold on any one of them and drag them and drop them into the queue. Next, let's look at the edit queue sequence window. You can now move queues between active queue stacks. To do this, open the edit queue sequence window and then press and hold on the queue you want to move and drag it onto the desired queue stack. A green indicator line will show where the queue will be dropped. It will also retain its fade in time from the previous queue. We've also enhanced latch and bump actions. These now include fade in time and fade out time. For example, if you want to bump on lights to have a quarter second fade instead of just turning on with the zero fade, now you can. For playback, queues now have a pause and resume function. If you pause a queue during a fade or a wait time, it can now resume exactly where it left off rather than unloading the queue. For recording, we've added the ability to insert new queue after current queue. Need to send your crew a detailed list of all the lights, modes, and profiles used in your rig? With the latest update, you can now export a patch list. Here's how it works. From the right toolbar, tap Management. In the top right corner, tap the Send icon. From here, you'll have the option to create either a CSV file or a PDF. Once generated, you can save the file locally, print it, or email it directly to your crew. This makes it easier than ever to share critical information and ensure everyone is on the same page. The final major update in version 1.3, and this is a big one, 
is the expansion of DMX profile capabilities with the new DMX parameters. First, we have variable parameters, a powerful addition that allows you to create fully customizable DMX controls. With this, you can define functions like strobe, rate, slotted colors, fan, crossfade, and so much more, tailoring the DMX profile to match your fixture's exact capabilities. And then we have the DMX control channel, a single channel that lets you remotely adjust the fixture settings like DMX smoothing in studio mode. These are such big topics that we've dedicated two full episodes to it. In episode nine, creating DMX profiles, part one, building the foundations, we'll walk you through building a DMX profile from scratch, covering all the essentials. Then in episode 10, creating DMX profiles part two, unlocking advanced features and parameters, we'll explore variable parameters, control channels, and 16-bit profiles, unlocking the full potential of DMX customization. That wraps up this overview of the latest updates in Citus Link Pro version 1.3. From expanded DMX profile capabilities to enhanced color swatches, undo and redo, and the new patch list export feature, We've packed this update with the tools designed to make your lighting workflow faster, smarter, and more powerful. There are many other bug fixes and enhancements in version 1.3. The entire list is available at help.citus.link. And if you're new to lighting control or DMX, check out episode seven, what is lighting control and DMX. It's a great starting point to learn the fundamentals and make the most of Citus Link Pro. As always, your feedback helps us to continue to improve Citus Link Pro. So let us know what you think. For more information, check out help.citus.link.